Found David, we'll call later. Vicky! Oh, oh wow. how's Todd? Well, he's still in surgery, so he's still listed as critical. Oh, God, I'm sorry. All of this seems to be happening to you at once. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Today is the hearing to determine custody of Jessica's son, Ryder. Oh, he's still with... He's with Tess and Ford. You know, Ford has no experience parenting a, a, a child, much less a baby, and Tess couldn't care less, has absolutely no interest. They're just using each other to get the baby and the trust fund. And my poor little grandson, he's caught in the middle. Oh, I can only imagine that you want to get him out of there. Well, I have to. I have to. Obviously, I don't relish the idea of going up against my own daughter in court, but I have to remind myself she's not Jessica, she's Tess. And she asked for this fight. Yeah. You know what I'm hoping? The realization that she's about to lose her son might be enough to bring Jessica back. Oh my God, I didn't sleep at all last night. The baby's crying was bad enough, but your singing sounded like you were killing a cat. Thanks, Langston. It's me. This isn't over, okay? It can't be over. We're gonna work this out, I promise. Call me back. I love you. Mayor Dorian Lord here. Hey, guess who's going to the gala opening of the Picasso Matisse exhibit at the Institute tonight? You? And you, if you like. Young man, are you inviting me out on a date? Now that depends. I don't date women who are involved with other men. Are you going to accuse me of shooting Todd Manning, too? You know what? I don't think you had anything to do with that one. You know, but honestly, Dad, I don't, I don't even know what you're capable of anymore. Joey, do you honestly believe that I killed Eddie Ford? Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Nobody has produced any proof that I did anything wrong. <sighs> My father put you up to this, didn't he? I don't know who you are. And I have no idea who your father is. Oh, he's Clint Buchanan. Pa? Uh, you're not my pa. I'm just dreaming. Like last night. I, I don't thought... know. You're, no, you're not dreaming. I was here all night waiting for you to uh, sleep this off. Pa? Is. Is. Is it really you? Yeah, uh, it's me. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you'd come for me, Paul. Yeah, I came, son. <gasps> I don't want to talk about Eddie Ford or anything that you may or may not have done. No, neither do I. Ryder's custody hearing is today, and I need to concentrate on that. I know. I know. Look, I just want my nephew safe and Jessica to get well. So what are they saying about Todd's shooting? I don't know. I haven't read the article. They're probably more interested in the byline than the headline. You know, you can't help yourself, can you? Dad, Aubrey and I are happily married. Son, I just call him as I see him. And if you just happen to stir up trouble? Yeah. You know, you should be grateful to Aubrey. All right, she was the one who wanted to smooth things over between you and me. And she was the one who convinced me to stay here so that you and I could work things out. That Aubrey, always thinking of other people. 
Where is your wife this morning, anyway? So, have you had a chance to burn that picture of you and David? Prove you can move on. <clears throat> Sounds like a no. All right, in which case, I'm asking you to be my companion and not my date tonight. I appreciate the offer. The Impressionists always make a good impression on me. However, I have other plans. Okie dokie. Well, give me a call if the plans change. Married life has been treating you well because you look good Please enough don't to eat. Don't be careful. Clint Buchanan literally has footage of us doing the deed. He could blow us out of the water anytime he wants. Wrong. It was easier than I thought to seek and destroy that jump drive before Joey had a chance to see what was on it. In fact, Joey did it for me. No kidding. It's, uh, it's it. He's uh, done. Clint doesn't have any leverage on us? Looks that way. Oh, okay. All right, uh, my room, one hour. You and I are... Not We're so gonna go fast. Celebrate. Not so fast. One woman can still bring us down. Just a minute. Yes? Can I come in? Of course, darling. You're always welcome. Oh, darling. You've been crying. I broke up with Ford last night. Oh, you did? And don't start gloating or saying I told you I so. would never, ever <laughs> gloat when I see you in so much pain. I could barely sleep last night. I just kept going over it in my head. <laughs> Whatever transgressions Ford has committed, I can assume, can I not, that it once again has to do with his irresponsibility? No, that's just it. Ford and I broke up because he was being too responsible. Excuse me? Ford chose his baby over me. Oh, what's the matter? Does Widow Wangston not want to play with Fordy Woody anymore? What do you care? You're getting what you want, right? Uh, and so are you. You got your kid, which, by the way, smells like a fertilizer factory. So you might want to change it before I'll pass out to you. Okay. Where's uh, the hot one? James. He's at the hospital with Star. Or, I'm sorry, didn't you hear that your uncle got shot? Mystery sniper saw it. This is the greatest news ever! What kind of a selfish bitch are oh, you? Oh, give me a break. I'm not talking about the shooting. I mean, Todd protected me once. I feel sorry for the poor bastard. Well, you have a funny way of showing it. Don't you see? His wife is going to be off her game. And without Taya Delgado on Jessica's parents' side, getting your kid is going to be a lock. I'm trying to buy us some breathing room, so I just dropped off a request for a continuance with the judge's assistant. A continuance? Oh, well, Taya was representing us, and of course Todd was shot, so... Oh, she'll want to be at the hospital with him. I'm assuming Clint is going to show up with one of his own sharks, but I can't take the chance, so... We have to play this by the book. Oh, absolutely. Family court can be very tricky to navigate. And I have to make sure that he and I are on the same page going into this hearing. Vicky, do you trust Clint? <laughs> I don't know. His increasing metamorphosis into Asa is disturbing, to say the least. I mean, even if he didn't physically himself switch those DNA samples, obviously he had something to do with it, right? Do you know anything about that? Um, Vimmel confessed to tampering with the records. He insists that he acted alone. So we are no longer pursuing Clint's involvement. But there's something else. I'm not going to burden you with this now. Nora! No, 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 no. Nora, I'm about to throw my lot in with Clint to get custody of our grandson. If he's involved in something that's going to affect our future, I need to know about it. I think we should wait until Bo gets back. Well, but Bo apparently left town all of a sudden. Was there some sort of emergency? Bo went to rescue David Vickers. I was, I was kidnapped at my own wedding, Paul. Yeah, I know. I was carted off and I was thrown into a prison in Morocco. I know. I didn't write that Dear John letter to Dorian. I never stopped loving her, Paul. I never stopped thinking about her. Or you, or Matthew, yeah, or know. myself. I know. It was all Clint. Clint kidnapped me. Clint's the one who wrote all those things on my MyFace page. I know. 
You do? Yeah. yeah. I found out about all of this a couple of days ago. But I know what Clint did to you. And with your help, we're going to nail him for it. Rescue David Vickers? From what? The man is off living the high life somewhere, isn't he? Oh, well, I guess you're going to find out about this soon enough, and I, I think you need to hear it if you're going to, before you become too entrenched with Clint again. Hear what? Oh, Vicky, David didn't skip town. He was abducted just before his wedding to Dorian by Clint, who then shipped him out of the country and locked him up in a, wait for it, Moroccan prison. Because he blamed David for destroying his marriage to Kim, so he wanted to punish him. But, but, but David's his nephew. He's Bo's son. The other person that he wanted to punish. Clint blames Bo for stealing me away from him, so he wanted to pay him back by stealing David away from Bo. I wish I could say I don't believe this. Frankly, if you told me this a few months ago, I would not have thought Clint capable of it, but... But now? I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you all this. David has been gone for months. Oh, yeah. He's been in prison all that time? Good Lord, how is he? Is he all right? All I know is Bo found David. I have no idea the extent of what he's been through. Clint's going down for torturing David, and you're going down with him. <laughs> torturing David? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Clint is going to pay. That prison was barbaric. I was cooped up in this rat-infested cell. I didn't see my own image for eight months. David's been living it up here for weeks. He called it his final stop on his road to paradise. It was hell. All alone. Women around him night and day. Nothing to eat but yak bones. Nothing to drink but gutter water. Feasting on caviar and champagne. And then I was brought here and these people sort of doing... All these things to me. Working on his tan all day. They hosed me down with this orange stuff. Having manicures. I thought they were going to rip my fingernails out. Pa, oh, how sick do you have to be to do something like that? I think I know what's going on here. Well, that baby comes with Tess. I, you know... Tess, over you? I've got half no, a no, mind. No, 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 sorry, and please there. don't do anything. I know how much you hate Ford. I shouldn't even... He's talking oh, about this oh, with you. Baby. I don't, I don't hate uh, Ford. I've been talking to Star about this, but she has problems of her own with her father in the hospital. Of course, and rather than go find your trusted friend and cry on her shoulder, you came to seek me out and get a, a mother's, a loving mother's advice. Yeah, let me guess what my loving mother's gonna say. Blah, 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 he's not worth all this. No, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say that you deserve better from any man. And you deserve a lot better than Mr. Robert Ford. I, uh, just changed the baby. Great. Call me when you change him into somebody who doesn't cry and wet himself. Would you drop with the attitude? I'm busting my ass trying to help our son. Hey! You signed up for this. Fine. Fine, let's not get into it. We have a custody hearing. We should be getting ready for it. That is the smartest thing that you have said all day. Maybe you should change into something a little more... Uh, what? Just a little more. Please. You love it. No, I really don't. You look at me like you're starving on the last hamburger and then me. Fine. Fine. From now on, we'll avoid any eye contact, and you can have my noise-canceling headphones so you don't have to hear me sing to Ryder anymore, and I'll change him faster than you can say baby poo. How does that sound? Hey. What is this? This is me trying to act like somebody who actually cares about you. Well, it's creepy. I don't care. This is how this is how normal couples act, okay? And that's how we need to seem normal. Okay, no matter how much we hate each other, that judge has to think that we're a happy, normal, loving couple who can't wait to come home and raise our child together. And that's what I'm trying to do. Got it? Can you handle this? It's gonna be performance of a lifetime. 
For your information, Aubrey's having breakfast with her brother. Well, that's nice. Nice that they're so close. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. No, it's just like Jessica and I were close. So, Dad, can we just put all of this stuff that's between us on hold for Jessica's sake, please? I couldn't agree with you more. I have to get to court. Morella's been leaving me all these messages. Saying what? Let's do lunch at the palace. What do you think she's saying? Her husband's in prison. Right, because of us. I just don't know what to tell her. <sighs> tell her what she needs to hear. You know, something like, yeah, I don't know, you, you, you've got a plan, everything's gonna be fine, yada, yada, yada. I don't think that's gonna work. We told Rama she would be rewarded if she convinced Vimal to take the rap for those tampering charges. Now, she wants her piece of the pie. We'll tell her she'll get her money when we get ours. In the meantime, she just needs to be patient. Rama. Hello, Joey. Um, come in. I stopped by to see Aubrey. Is she around? No, but I am expecting her back any moment, so come on in, please. I was hoping my friend Aubrey could cheer me up. Uh, can I wait for her? Of course. Of course, of course. Here, let me uh, let me take your coat. Yeah, this this is great. This will get us a chance to uh, get to know each other. So, uh, how was, how was Vimmel doing? It isn't easy for him to be in prison, Joey. And to be really honest, the situation is very difficult for me as well. I'm so sorry, Romo. I really am here. Please. Whoa, this is quite a house. It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, my, uh, my grandfather really wasn't a fan of subtlety, so. Mm. So, uh, you've known Aubrey for quite a while, huh? Bet you got some great stories. You have no idea. I really appreciate you doing this. Now, I know he's your grandson, but I also know that things aren't, you know, perfect between us. Maybe. But I definitely know I can at least trust you with him. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Tess, come on, quick. We gotta get to court. My mom's coming over to babysit soon. Well, you're jets. We have time. What the hell is this? What are you thinking? What's your problem? That's it. Are you not gonna screw this up for me? You're not gonna screw this up for me. Abe, I know what to do to get what we want. I just wanted to see your face when I came out in this outfit. Uh, I, I guess I don't get it. Is that supposed to be funny? Well, I thought it was. Oh, come on. Where is your sense of humor? Oh, I'm not in the mood for your games. Our lawyer said that your parents are going to be coming. Vicky and Clint are not my parents, okay? Fine, fine. Jessica's parents are going to be coming at us with both barrels. So you go back in that room, and you don't come out until you look like June Cleaver. You understand? And when we get into court, you take a healthy dose of Jessica, and you show a little interest in our son. Got it? But you do know that I don't care about this kid at all, right? I don't care. We have a deal. And if you screw this up for me and I lose this case, I'll get the guys from St. Anne's back here and we'll have you committed so fast it'll make your head spin. Uh, just coffee. I have to be in court soon. Would you be patient if I were the one cooling my heels at Statesville Prison? Okay, you're right. All right, we gotta get our hands on that BE money soon. But how? Even without the spy cam footage, Clint is still a threat just knowing what he knows about us. Hey, yeah, right, he's not gonna let us near corporate finances. God, I wish there was some way to... What? I don't know, discredit him? Get him kicked off his own board? Would it help if the board knew that Clint Buchanan was a murderer? Guess what I just found out about my father-in-law. When your wife and I became friends, we dreamed of marrying handsome princes and living in castles. Aubrey's dream came true. Seriously? Aubrey always dreamed of living in a castle? This is every girl's dream. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that's why I'm sort of surprised. I mean, Aubrey doesn't really strike me as every girl. I mean, she's all about pushing boundaries. This is somewhat new. So what was she like in, uh, what was she like in boarding school? Well, the Aubrey went with I knew was quite studious. Mm. She was the type who read Jane Eyre for fun at 10 years old. She was quiet and 
terribly shy. Well, wait, wait shy? Mm-hmm. She couldn't even talk to a boy without stammering. <laughs> well, obviously that has changed. Yep. She's a completely different person now. Yeah, I'm trying to picture Obs as this, as this shy little girl. <laughs> you know what? I have our yearbook with us. Really? Yeah, I found it when I was forced to move from our spacious apartment into a small room after my husband was imprisoned. I brought it to show Aubrey. I thought she might appreciate a reminder of the girl she once was. They really think Clint killed that man? Joey had just gotten back from his Aunt Nora's, the DA. She and her husband, the police commissioner, are hell-bent on getting proof of Clint's crimes, starting with the kidnapping of Nora herself. I have to say I'm very happy for Dorian. You know, I told her at the time I didn't think that David had just run away. I thought there was something else going on, some other reason. But then, I don't know, he posted all that stuff on his my face page Clint posted all that stuff on his my face page and all this time Dorian's felt so betrayed she's been alone and unhappy this is going to change everything for her you deserve better than this because you are better than this you deserve a man who puts you first above everything else a man who wants nothing more than to share his life with you yeah well that's what I thought Ford wanted he promised me that we would be in this together, but then he went off and acted all alone. It, <gasps> typical! Just so typical! And it's... It's just like David. David putting his own selfish needs before the needs of the woman he supposedly loves. No, Dorian, that's not what this is like. Ford put his baby ahead of me. David went off to party. It's been party, party, party all the time. Bo, you will not believe the song this woman's been singing. That David's been here having a great time. Yeah, well, that's what Clint would like us to believe. And he got you to help him set up this credible scene, didn't no, he? No, Bo, no. This is totally... There's no scene. It's a truth. No, I've heard enough of this, no, Alex. Paul, uh, oh, listen. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters now is that I'm safe. He came and he got me. Yeah. Rex, I don't know what to say to you. What did Bo tell you? He didn't have to tell me anything. You're here. He trotted halfway across the globe and back just to help Bo find me. And in the past, I've treated you like a bad hair day. I've been very competitive for Pa's attention in the past. I apologize. Any way I can make that up to you? Well, well I, I'm the one that should be doing the making up. What do you mean? I've known about what happened to you for months. Oh, Clint told me that. I didn't believe a word of that. I mean, you wouldn't hide the fact that Bo's first board was languishing in lockup. It's true. I've known that you were in that prison and I didn't tell Bo. You knew? Could somebody please untie me? I please? wanted to tell Bo where you were, okay? But but Clint was blackmailing me. He was, he was threatening me and he was threatening Gigi's life. So instead, you let him ruin mine? I'm sorry. Oh, I think my son's got things under control. There most certainly is a parallel between David and Ford. Why, both of them put their own selfish needs ahead of the needs of the women that they profess to love. I don't know, I think I'm being too hard on Ford. You did the right thing, breaking up with him. Stay strong. Stick to your guns. Guns? I don't have any guns. What, what does that even mean? Principles. Resolve. You cannot accept anything less than what you want or need. And I lied to you before. I do hate Ford, although I have to admit he's done you a favor now because you are free to find the right man. And who exactly would that be? You'll know him when you see him. Oh, yes. 
There's no sense mourning for Mr. Wrong when Mr. Right... Maybe you right outside the door, waiting for you. Dorian doesn't know anything about David. She doesn't? Mm. Um, Bung needs to approach this very cautiously. Oh, oh, I see. Yes, you don't want Dorian to tip Clint. Listen, the only reason why I'm telling you is because, as you say, you're about to throw your lot in with Clint, and I think you deserve to make an informed decision. Yeah. Well, I thank you very, very much for the information, obviously. But honestly, Nora, I don't know what I can do about it now. Best case scenario, Clint's crimes will catch up to him and we won't have to lay a finger to get him thrown off that board. We, uh, really may just get everything we wanted. No, 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 please, don't let me stop you. Do whatever you want. Go have sex in a booth for all I care. Because exposing my son's wife and her brother for the money-hungry grifters that they actually are is low on my priority list today. But then again, it doesn't really matter because eventually Joey's going to figure it all out on his own. So, come on, Roma, let's see it. I'm afraid Aubrey would kill me if I showed it to you. Why? What is, is she like a geek or something? Oh, glasses? Oh, braces? She looks completely different now. Oh, come on, how bad can it be? You can't imagine. Oh, see, now I really want to see it. Come on, Roma, this is going to be something I can use to blackmail my wife. I think I should wait for Aubrey and see if she wants you to see this picture or not. All right. All right. Well, you know, she should have been back by now, but she did go on a little bit of a shopping spree. A shopping spree? Mm-hmm. How nice for her. Hmm. Well, Joey, you know, if you want to see this picture... Really? Rama! Right. What are you doing here? I came to see you. Well, here she is. Hi, honey. Hi. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Good. I think Rama and I have some catching up to do. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, I will leave you two ladies to talk. Okay. Rama, it's so nice to see you. What the hell was that about? I sent my own husband to prison just so that your father-in-law would not tell Joey who you really are. You owe me. Do you think I've forgotten that? You said you were going to share the wealth. Here you are, living in a mansion, going on shopping sprees while I've been forced into a small room by myself now that Vimal's in jail. This house is Clint's. I don't have anything of my own, and Connor and I have not been able to get the money yet. Well, you better find a way to get it today. Or your new husband is going to see this. If I could only find an airtight connection between Clint and Eddie Ford. Good morning, ladies. Speak to the devil. Why don't I go check on that continuance for you? Oh, thank you, Nora. Sure. Thank you. Well, I assume that she was giving you an earful. Oh, yes. Well, she did tell me everything that she and Bo think you're involved in. Oh, my God, Clint. Vicky, it's a load of nonsense. Is it? You know what? I don't want to think about it. I don't even want to discuss it. I just want to make sure nothing jeopardizes our case to get custody of our grandson. Well, neither do I. Then let's just get through this day, okay? And let's hope like hell that Tess and Ford don't know what Bo and Nora think. Ta-da! That's more like it. Thank God, because I draw the line at mom jeans. You look good, Tess. Ew! I should have figured this was your thing. You're such a perv. Whoa, hey, hey, listen. Nothing can go wrong in that courtroom today, remember? I didn't lose Langston just to lose my son. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. I mean, how can Ford and I have an equal relationship when he wouldn't even consult me before making a radical decision that would affect both of us? Precisely. I mean, I know that he has a kid. That obviously means a lot to him. But to marry someone else? Someone with that many issues? <sighs> My darling, what you need to do is look forward and not look back. Y you need to... Start afresh and be able to attract a new man into your life. Kind of like you have? Okay, get out of here. This is my room. Alex? 
All right. Ow! Don't Pray. you! Hey, do you what the fuck? Okay. Me. That's enough. Ah. enough. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's. You deserved it, Balsam. But there's someone else we have to go after. So look, you save this rage. You save it for Clint. Right. Clint. I am going to bring Clint down for what he did to me. Kidnapping me. Ruining my wedding. My wedding! Well, and Dorian's too. Dorian! I've got to talk to Dorian! Oh, no, 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 let's get you out of here. No, first. no, Paul, i got to do it right now. Dorian has to know that I'm all right. Cutter? It's Dorian. You called? You wanted proof that I'm over David. Fine. Why don't you come right over? I'll give you all the proof you need. Phone. I need a phone. Paul, let me use your phone. Please! Thanks. Mayor Lord speaking. Dorian. David? Dorian, I have so much to tell you. Uh, I don't know where to begin. Look, you just know this. I love you. I did not walk out on you. Not after what you spent on that wedding. Oh, and that suit. Oh, baby, I love that suit. I, uh, sorry. Uh, look, just know this. It's all Clint's fault. <sighs> I can't just get the money today. What am I supposed to do? Well, you better think of something today, or I will do what I have to do. Can I get you ladies something? Coffee? Is there something wrong? Um, are you going to tell Joey, or should I? Tell me what Joey, why. I, uh, I... I have invited Rama to live here with us. We have to present a united front for writers' sake. You'll get no argument from me. Jessica? I guess that answers your question. Did the judge grant the continuance? No, I'm sorry. Oh, no. But he did give me permission to represent you during these proceedings if you want. Would you? Oh, God, Nora, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just heard Nora Buchanan will be representing the other side. The, the DA? Are you kidding me? Don't worry. Your case is strong. Ryder's your biological son. And if it looks like things aren't going your way, I have something else I can use. You know something? I can't help but wonder if you're capable of representing my best interests. I'm doing this for Vicky and for Ryder. Oh, look, I think the judge is ready for us. I'll be right in. Dorian, I never stopped loving you. It's all Clint's fault. He made it look like I left you at the altar. Again, when the truth is that Clint... Ah! Uh, shut up! I don't want to hear about Clint. Do you understand? And I don't want to hear your protestations of everlasting love. No, 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 no. You are a liar. Come in. Come in! Excuse me. Oh. This gentleman is here with a gift. Uh, thank you. That'll be all. That'll be all. No, 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 no. Well, wait, Dorian, you don't understand. No, you are the one who doesn't understand. It's over, David, between us. In fact, your replacement has just walked into my bedroom. <laughs> oh, come on. That's just not possible. Nobody can replace me. He's handsomer. No, he's not. Younger. No, he's not. Richer. Impossible. I'm a Buchanan. And if it wasn't for Clint, you'd be a Buchanan too. Stop it. I do not want to hear about Clint. Do you understand me? 
It's over between us, David. Over. Fini. There. Told you. He's out of my life. Oh, I heard. But if I hadn't arrived, would that call have ended differently? She hung up on me. We'll call her back. You know, it's Dorian. It'll probably take a little work. And the spa bills alone. You're right, you're right, Paul. Oh, dear. Ah, David, so. There. Told you. It's all over between us. Hmm. So then why haven't you burned this? Barely even rang. She sent me straight to voicemail. Me, the lover of life. I'm sorry, son. Pa, you, you saved my life when you got me out of that Moroccan prison cell. You did, but now it's my soul that's at stake. Dorian's moved on. She said she's moved on to a better looking man. Can you imagine how good looking he must be? She's with him right now. You gotta get me back to land. You gotta help me, Paul. Don't you worry, look, son. I'm on it, okay? We're gonna get you back home, and then we're gonna nail that brother of mine. 